Kingstown. South of the Bay. place I need to go. I hate the way these are organized. Down and then... I don't think I can actually do that. The nose is running. Ugh. I'll finish this now. Double flash. But I'm this close. I won't miss. Form zero. This fight is over. I need to get down here. I don't think there's an easy way to do that. Can't just teleport there. Oh, wait, hold on. Yay! <laughs> Thing. At last, the Nordal set is complete! Hooray! Go us! Turtles! Turtles! Just in time for the dinner set, you know. Your skills truly put mine to shame. It wouldn't have taken so much time and effort if you'd been willing to help us look. But you'll make it up to us with a suitable discount next time we trade. <laughs> Can't you give me a break? Never mind. Do you have anything for us? I do mind that! But yeah, here's another letter for Aizen. Another one? I will keep this missive short as my patience with you has expired. Come to the prison island and face your judgment. I will not blame you if you run, but I will consider you a heartless coward of a brother. Oh, this sounds like a challenge to a fight. Now we're talking my language. Let's get going. Whoever this is, they're just trying to get under your skin. Why not let it go and move on? This is the third letter. Not counting any that might not have reached us. I say we should go nip this in the bud. Yeah, I think so too. If we just keep ignoring it, something might happen to Aizen's sister. Exactly. I can't allow that. I want to head to Titania and settle things. Okay. Uh, I still have a long way to go before I perfect my new drink, but I did discover something useful already. If you steep the radish bells in barley wine, the poison is denatured, leaving behind a hearty flavor. Sounds cool. like snake wine. Exactly. That's where I got the idea. So, can I get a taste of your new concoction? Don't tell me I have to wait 50 years for this one, too. I just started brewing it up. It should be ready after the summer. But my intuition is telling me to let it sit for four years. In that case, we'll come back next autumn. Make sure to save enough for two. Nah, two won't be enough. I want to treat the whole crew. How much can you make by then? I've already prepped three large barrels. If I push, I could probably ready another seven. Great. Make them. I'll pay for all seven. And we'll split five barrels in the autumn. <sighs> What? And we'll come for the other two in four years' time. Right, Aizen? No. We'll only take one more. The last one is yours to sell as the town's specialty. 
Oh, thank you. I'll make sure it's delicious. Looking forward to it. All right. Hi, person in the water. She had the idea to build a great bell tower and make it the symbol of our town. We'll make the tower out of stone, tall and proud. Then we'll hang the biggest bell in the land here. The wind whistling down from the mountains will carry the sound far, far away. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Yeah, it sounds great. Where are you going to quarry the stone? The stone we get from the mountains near here is dense and smooth. Perfect for constructing buildings with. All right. I know your rocks. When I was deciding on where and what to farm here, I spent a lot of time researching the nearby geology. Not only does she have the knowledge, she has a great logical mind. She's been a terrific help in getting this plan off the ground. And he's got the good ideas, but he tends to leap before he looks. Since I don't get flashes of insight like he does, he's given me all sorts of ideas for improving my farm. Now we're trying to find the perfect metal for the bell. The metals and their ratios used when casting the bell will change its sound dramatically, right? That's right. We're testing all sorts of alloys, trying to find one that produces a smooth, pleasing sound. I hope you can find a sound that will soothe the hearts of those both near and far. Okay. One more person to find. Hello. We were yeah. hoping we could put on a comedy act here. Sure, but who's your partner? Me. I'm going to be honest. I think you'll be the worst of any of them. You just underestimate me. I have my own sense of humor. Just act like we're both aboard the Von Eltia. I already have a bad feeling about this. All right. You can play the strong, forceful type, and I'll be the dumb, slow one who... No. I want to play the dumb character. Are you <laughs> sure you can handle that? I'll have everyone dying from laughter the way only a Reaper can. I don't Already. think I like where this is going. I'm ready. My body is ready for this. Hi there! We're your friendly comedy duo, Death by Laughter! Magic Kazam! Huh? He just stole my line! <gasps> Thank you all for coming here to see us today. Now, when you think of Rakugo, you of course think of classic characters like Hatsuan, Kumasan, Oyasan. And there's the neighborhood retiree, and Yotaro the fool who... Whoa, 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 hold it! What are you rambling on about? Does it matter? I'm just trying to get a feel for the audience. Every comedian does it. Not anymore! Speed is key nowadays. Speed! You need to be snappy and get straight to the point! Well, I object. Comedy that forgets the old classics has no future. What's old is tired. Comedy is always evolving. It has to! <laughs> You must be some new wave type then. Did you just click your tongue at me? No. You totally did! I heard that! I'm the leader here and don't you forget it! If you respect comedy, then respect my authority! Sorry. All right, as long as you understand. Now, what are you thinking of doing today? I was thinking of maybe imitating a clock cut that out <laughs> i can't take this anymore you're impossible <laughs> Whew. it's been a while since i worked so hard we really tried to practice so the jokes would land how do you think it went your jokes were okay i suppose but your partner was so intimidating Whew. I couldn't laugh. Huh? Oh, can't say I'm surprised. Your attention, please. I've tabulated the results and I've come to the conclusion that you're all hopelessly unfunny. I'm sorry. I don't really care how it went, but when you put it that way, I get a little pissed off. Anyway, that's why I'll be teaming up with Bienfu to take on Modulu. Works for me. I'm ready when you are, Miss Mogulu. Which bit are you gonna do? Your specialty, Cat Emperor? Or the surefire automaton assault? Neither. We need brute force to win, so I'm going with Elysian Thunder. Which means that when things are at their peak, we're gonna hit the audience with lots of thunder, right? Right. Thunder in the form of relentless ad-libbing, as much as we can possibly handle. Okay. I'll scout. 
shout out some local material we can use for our opening warm-up, too! Great! You do that! You two are really in sync. Couldn't you two just have teamed up from the start? It's almost like the whole thing was an elaborate joke just so she could have this punchline. <sighs> well, now with that settled, let's make our way to Logras and meet up with Modulu. Oh, man. All of these are awesome, and <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying this game too much. Every time this time of year comes around, I can't help but think back on that terrible accident. Can you tell us about it? This was all quite a long time ago, but a carriage transporting suspects to a heresy trial fell down a ravine. I was the one who first found them, and let me tell you, it was a nasty sight. Oh right, I remember hearing about this. Well, these were people who'd made a killing running dodgy shows, so their luck might have just caught up with them. Did anybody survive? Apparently not, but I heard there was one body they never found. Right. She was a girl they'd made a part of their show. I heard they really abused her and forced her to work for them. I hope she managed to escape, but I don't know. There were rumors that a strange spirit saved her life. As if anyone could believe a story like that. Yeah, I heard that too. But the crash happened in the deep mountainside wilderness. It's much more likely that she was eaten by a beast. I'm surprised you know so much about it. It happened when I was still young. Exactly how old are you, Magilu? As old as my tongue and a little older than my teeth. <laughs> From your reaction, I can at least tell you're not my age. I love Magilu. She's my favorite character. Like, for a while I thought it was going to be Rokuro, but no. It's definitely Magilu. Okay. So we need to go search the world tree, we need to fight this monster, we need to go find out what's going on with Aizen's sister, and then beat the game. So, next time on Crew.0, all that stuff will get done. Crew.0 out. Save my game. Alright. We're back. We got a couple of side quests to clean up and then we are done and we're gonna go fight the boss and end the game. Let's do it. Oh. My expedition is done. Awesome. Let's go see what we got. Perfect. All right, go find the rest of my shit. Show them how I Freed's crew can sail. I think I needed to be close to here. Yeah. I gotta go down. Get fucked.
Alright. World tree, sounds cool. Mm -hmm.